so in this tutorial we are going to see hashes and redis so hashes is a map of string keys and string values which is a perfect example to store our objects so let's create a hashes the command is h set and we need to pass the key we are passing my hash and the field name we need to provide field name i am providing name and the value as shabri okay you can see that it returned one so data is added let's add one more values let's set my hash email as email at domain.com so i added name and email into my hash my hash okay now to get all the keys and values from the hash the command is h keys and key which is my hash okay then it will return all the keys available we have name and email available over here right which we added name and email so it will return all the keys available in my hash so to get all the values we can use hvals command and we will pass my key which is my hash so we will get all the values which we have added okay so h keys will return all the keys and hvals will return all the values available in the hash h get all command will return all the keys and values available in my hash in redis so we saw three commands to get the values available in the hash h keys h wells and h get all but we need to check for the particular values available so for that the command is h exists and we need to pass key which is my hash and the field the field is name or email which we have already so we will check with name so it will return one when the value is available it will return zero when the value is not available see if i check with name one which is not there in my hash so it will return zero so this way we can check if the value is present in hash or not we can also check the length of the hash with hlen command passing key which is my hash it will return the length so currently i have two elements in my hash so it is returning two suppose i'm adding one more it's my hash i'm passing age as 25 and if i do hlen again it will return 3 okay now here we can use pipelining as well we can add multiple key values inside my hashes so for that the command is hm set and we need to pass key which is my hash and we can pass key value pairs okay suppose i'm passing country as india phone as phone number okay so this way the values will be added the same way we can use hm get command to get multiple values out of the hash the command is hm get we need to pass my hash is a key and we need to pass multiple fields i have name field i have email field and phone you can see that all the values are been written okay the phone is wrong right it should be capital okay so this we can use hm set and hm get to set and get the multiple fields from the hash now suppose i want to increment any of the values in my hash then we can use h incur by command h i n c r by command we need to pass the key which is my hash and the field i have age added to it right you can see i have added age so let's increase the age so i'll add age and increment by 2 so you can see that my age is 27 now okay so this way you can use h incur by command to increase the values of the hash if you want to increase the values with a floating point data then also we can do with h incur by float command and we need to pass key which is my hash field which is age and increment the value like adding 1.5 years okay so value is 28.5 so this way h incur by float command is used for floating point we can also remove the elements with h del key h del command and we need to pass the key which is my hash and we need to pass field suppose age let's remove the age you can see it's returning one that means the age is removed we can again check with h exist command with my hash and age it will return zero okay age has been removed from the hash we can use h str line command to get the length of any of the values so h str line we need to pass key which is my hash and we will pass the field suppose i need to check the length of the name okay so it is returning 7 shabir is of 7 characters so this way we can use h str line for finding the length of the fields with h set nx command 
we make sure that we will only add the fields which is not available in my hash so it won't override the fields so for that reason we will use h set an x command suppose h set an x will pass my hash okay we will pass field suppose i'm adding name name is already there i'm just changing the name so this won't add to my hash it will return zero you can see that okay so it will always check if value is available or not if value is not available then only it will add let's add the new value suppose i'm adding last name okay so it will return one and it's been added to my hash so this way we can use h set an x command so that's been it in this video in the next tutorial we will see that is transaction